have driven all day. We stopped twice. It is now 7.05. I don't know if you can see that or not. 7.05 and we just got here and we're just parked in. TTO, Thousand Trails Orlando, if you're not familiar with this park, uh, has a newer section and it's all concrete pads and it's, it's just really nice. The problem is, is that everybody goes for these things first. We were driving around the new section because you just come in, you pick your site and we were like, oh, there's, there's an opening. We did that twice. They were seasonal sites. So some of these, like some of the new ones are seasonal. Uh, so you don't really know like until you go out and you actually look at the the podium But we found a site. In fact, look at this babe There's an empty one right there, too So we uh, we found a empty site for the night or for the next two weeks. And this is a pretty nice site <laughs> I like the new sites. They're nice and they're big they're even with our rig. They're concrete. So um, We don't have to worry about the dogs being dirty Yes. Downside is we can't put the mat out for the back stairs, but. True, because you can't have anything on the grass here. Yeah, everything has to be included on the concrete. Yeah, well. Which is understandable, they want to. That's all right, know, they I guess we'll use the front more. But we are here now and we are unhooked and it's leveled and the slides are out. Gotta get the e-bikes out now. <laughs> so, it's always a chore, but we're here. So, more to come. What's up everyone? Welcome back to One Strange Adventure. Welcome to the next video. It is a beautiful, beautiful day here in sunny Florida. We are so excited to be back down in Florida, but we're actually kicking this off. I'm gonna start it off with just a, a little bit of a RV tip, a full timers tip. We have a washer and dryer in our rig. Obviously that was one of our requirements as we were buying a new rig and it's been great, but sometimes you just kind of have to do like a reset. Like just sometimes you need to just take everything out and go to a laundromat, get everything done. The bedding, our rugs, towels, clothes, everything you can think of and just do it all at once and just do that reset. While we're staying down here in Florida, we know of a great, great uh, laundromat. It's called Yo Wash. Uh, absolutely loved it last time we were here. And so we are taking everything today and go and get that done. We're doing that, that that reset. Go out, get it all done, be done with it. And you know, and then use your uh, wash and dry to kind of keep up with stuff until you feel like you're at a point where you need to do another reset. That's tip of the day. We've learned that a little bit while we were full-time RVing. Not a huge tip, but hey, hope that helps somebody. bought some towel racks off of uh, Amazon that hang on the outside of the glass. So the one thing about the $3.99, there isn't, there isn't a lot of space for towels, like built in. There's no built-in cabinetry unless you use the the cabinets that are in the uh, the front bedroom. One of the things that we've done is, I think you've already seen this, is where we added these little racks and our little, our little thin towels. They're like drying off with a bed sheet. Uh, go there. Those towels are great. They do work. And then uh, Cindy found some really nice towel racks that actually um, clip onto the glass. So we'll, we're gonna install them today and see how that goes. Well, Cindy's actually gonna install these today. I'm just gonna be the cameraman. She said we might have to cut them. Constantly uh, trying to improve the living situation and make it you know, work for us. Getting there. That's a horrible sound too. Sorry. Alrighty. Fun little poster tube. Reminds me of floor plans. Yeah. I would imagine the rubber things go inside the handles. Yep, to, to go, grip it. To go to the glass. Do they drill into the... They go in the ends of the poles. But they said mm. that if these are too long for your glass, you have to cut. You can cut these. Mm -hmm. So we might have to cut them. Yeah. We're definitely going to have to cut them. Yes. <laughs> 
So we're gonna have to cut them. Because that's definitely too long. And we have absolutely nothing that can cut metal. Are you gonna buy a new saw? No, I wanted to get the um, the little thing anyways. You know what I'm talking about? The thing has a little, like, just a little... If you could see him right now. It's he's... the little, the saw that just does that. <laughs> anyways, it looks like there's a little hole, so the screw's supposed to go yeah. in that. So, so two of these go in here, like that. Gotcha. There and there. That shouldn't be hard. So it holds two towels. But I only bought one because I thought it was... It, you thought picture, it was two. The picture showed doubles, so I thought it was... They didn't say you had to buy two sets. Right. Okay. So, but anyways. I think we can figure it out. So we've got these cut down, cut down to size, about the width of the glass. Going to install them now. So the first thing we're gonna do is mount the brackets, which requires this little rubber piece to go on the end, and then this goes onto the rubber piece. this Florida weather. It was sunny and beautiful all morning. Now it's not. Now it's that. Just started sprinkling. Now it's windy, pouring. What can you do? Sadly, we just got to an RV park in Georgia. And the reason I say sadly is because we have left Florida. So over the course of this winter, <laughs> holiday season, we will be going to Florida, to Virginia for Thanksgiving. Florida to Virginia for Christmas, Florida. So <laughs> we're gonna get some miles in uh, this, this season, this winter season and, and so you know, we, we want to make sure that you guys are staying updated. But for now, we are in Georgia. We're on our way to Virginia tomorrow. We've, we have a thousand trails. It's right off of 95 in South Carolina. That's where we're staying. It's off to Virginia and we're actually going to be parking it. We're going to be mooch docking for a little while. So we're going to talk a little bit about what mooch docking is uh, next weekend. We're heading down to the Keys. That's like the main event. So can't wait to do that.